everybody. So, pretty much from the last episode, I came and I found this village right here. And after looking around for quite a bit, I decided we are going to settle all the way over there, which is from what I've seen looks pretty much like a um a plains. And we might find some horses there too. And I'll gather the materials off camera, but cuz you know, that's not very interesting to watch. And I also have a couple uh, things to talk about or announce. And then after I get my settlement set up, just my house and storage and get all the things I need in there, we will start cleaning up this village because it looks like a mess. And then we can start making more houses and see if we can increase this village and make it more secure. So I'll jump cut after getting all my resources and... All, to you it may seem like you know I'm out in the plains in a split second for me it's probably going to be a couple hours because I need to gather a lot of supplies so I'll be right back alright guys I am back I have all well, what I believe to be all the materials that I will need I may need more and if I do I will just jump, comp, or, uh, jump cut and save a lot of time so I'm just going to fast forward it so that you know because it would probably take a while since I'm building carefully so this is all gonna be fast forward and I hope you enjoy <laughs>
But yeah, um, I'd say it looks good. So, I think after about 20 times jumping back and forth my single player world to make sure I was doing it right, um, I think I did it right, and I'm not going back again. This is good enough, and it'll stay like this. Now the floor, I have carpet. Not enough, but still. Um, so I guess we'll work on that. And, um... See if I can remember what I was just about to say. Uh, um, oh yeah, uh, about the villagers. Um, I was gonna say about how twice now. Since this basically saying that we're gonna have to do a lot of trading, because twice in a row the villagers jump scared me and coming around the corner real fast and I accidentally like hit them. So. I think they're kind of mad at me, but uh, who cares? It's not the ones that I really care about. It's not. It was um, like one emerald for 12 arrows. Uh, the other guy was, I believe, um, 16 pork for an emerald, and I don't care for those trades. So I mean, it's not like it'd be hard to recover anyways. You just got to trade with them, and they'll be happy. And also, I was way off on my calculations. I had to keep going back for supplies so many times. It used way more than I thought it would, but at least it looks nice. And how I plan to make everything in here, or around this area, um, I usually have an enchanting like little area. Like it'll be a small mini kind of like a uh, shed looking thing and I just oops and I pretty much just um, see if I can remember how to do this oh I need slabs underneath them um, I pretty much just have them in there they're like little works work centers and um, I guess it wouldn't really matter right here uh, what kind of slot or er, what kind of slabs they are, sorry. Because you're not going to see them, so... Well, you will temporarily, because I don't have enough ink, but... It doesn't matter. It's all good in the hood. And... Um, it depends how long this episode will be. But if it's, um... If it's not long... If it is too long, then I won't show it in this one. But... As soon as I get the renovations inside here done, then we'll head over and we'll start fixing up the village. And while we're fixing up the village, I guess we can decide um, what we're going to build besides our workstations and everything else. So, um... Um, what was it? I just had it. Oh yeah, um, since I haven't found a saddle yet, <coughs> you'll have to deal with me using a pig, my noble steed, and lift him somewhere out over there. And I'm pretty sure this episode's long enough with all the building, so I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.